Hi, everybody. Sorry about the lighting. I'm in my bedroom. Just going to film a quick video here. <clears throat> and I have got these, I've got my baby's sword and these totes. So they're completely sealed in there. And this is my little ghost baby. This is Darren, the Darren cat. It's a little ghost baby. Need get try to get her out with one hand. <laughs> oh, good thing she's a nice little bundle. <laughs> oh hi! I feel like she's been in there forever. Only she was just born last week, so she still smells brand new. She still smells brand new. Okay. <sighs> so, um, this little baby, <clears throat> let me get started here. <laughs> this little baby is available for adoption. Um, she is an alternative baby. Meaning, she doesn't look like a regular baby. Um, I made her to look sort of like a ghost, or she could even be a little vampire baby. It's really however you want to look at it. But anyway, I was just going to do a quick little bit detail video and just kind of show what she looks like. Um, I'm in my bedroom, so... I don't know if it's picking it up, but in person, she's really gray. Like, this is my hand, and that's her skin. So, she's got, she's gray-ish purple. Like, so some places, like, like here, her ears, look more like a purple. You can see she's got veining. And capillaries. She's got capillaries in her ears. See if we can pick it up. She's got a little beauty mark inside her mouth. You can't really see in there the way I'm at with our lighting, but I, I can do more pictures. She does have painted hair. It's a little bit different than my normal thing because I really was not I'm not used to painting on the skin tone this is my first like alternative reworn that I've done I made an attempt at um, an avatar baby but I got really really bored doing the layers um so let me just go ahead if you guys just want to hold on for the ride I'm going to tip you to the side boop sorry about that <laughs> all right so again, <clears throat> this baby is for adoption. I created this little ghostly little girl um, using the Darren kit, Real Born Darren. Um, I used Genesis heat set paints, mixed them myself to make the colors that would be her skin tone and undertones and lip tones and stuff like that. She smells so good. Oh my goodness. This is her, her whole self. <laughs> She's got um, veining and mottling throughout. She moves really nicely. She's got the veins. And her hands. I really like her hands. They they took they took on like a purpley tone. But she still has the fingernails and she still has the moons. And a little birthmark. Look at this. Look at this baby. I mean, and I know it's not for everybody. I get it. I know that. Some people are going to be freaked out. They're going to say, oh, what are you thinking? Uh, baby looks dead or blah, blah, blah. It is an alternative reborn. She is a gothic baby. So she is either a ghost or a vampire or whatever you want to pretend that she is 
she's a doll and she is absolutely amazing she's weighted really well she's solid um, but still snuggly um, she's varnished with a textured varnish uh, I use matte with a little bit of satin to give her a little bit of a life 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 like like a little lifelike look even though she's a dead looking type of style um but she's I when I created her I thought but she's a pretty little gothic baby you know what I mean like she's not scary she's pretty and could certainly be a boy too the 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 real born the real baby that this was made off of you know the sculpt the 3d scan what it you know was a boy so the sculpt is a darren so i mean i mean it could be a boy or a girl it really doesn't matter whatever you want you can send her home with a boy box opening or a girl box opening although if you do a girl box opening you'll get like the outfits that she has on and the outfits and the pictures on my page and you'll get these like <laughs> super cute slippers with the boop little point. So now I'm gonna take off her sock. Look at how nice her legs move. Like you guys, she's very poseable and very nice. I mean, I look at that. Look at that little bum, little butt. <laughs> and her legs are so cute. So let me show you her feet. Look at your feet. Oh, fuzz. Boop. And here's her feet. There's her feet. Her little ghostly feet. But she does have on her feet, even though she's a little ghost or vampire baby, she still has tips and gloss nails. This is the bottom of her foot. She's got beautiful, like, and then instead of a heel prick, she has a secret. <laughs> she has another secret, too. So she's got a heart instead of a heel prick. And she has her foot. Beautiful. And so there she is. Say hi. I keep saying she, but it could be a he too. Um, head moves really nice. I mean, you know, we make sure. My husband helps me with the waiting part because he, he brought her to me completed. Like I painted her and then he put her together and brought her to me. And I just had her whole breakdown. And there's a whole other video of that too if you want to watch that. <laughs> just because I was so emotional because I had never had a baby that I painted put together by someone else and then presented to me complete so it was very emotional um but she's not she's not a forever baby as much as she I'm looking at her now and she's so my style like I'm a bit odd so to me she's just like freaking perfect but <sighs> yeah it's kind of like not that time for me financially to be keeping babies I've got to sell this baby <laughs> I've got an I've actually got um two other Darren kits um that I can also create for someone if you would like to have a Darren that looks like a real baby or you know more lifelike little baby than her I would be happy to do so look at that look at that mop thing look at that face Got a little mark here too. I I that's my thing. Like if anybody ever says to me, "Oh, work freely," no, I won't make you a ghost baby. But I do have a tendency of putting these little like beauty marks. I love to do that. What a lot of people don't know is that when you when you hand paint something, right, and it's coming from it's vinyl. Basically, like it's completely blank and you have to literally do a million miles, a million layers of paint and all different other things to make it look realistic and make it look more than just some doll. 
you know, you have to do vans and modeling and creasing, you know, just a lot of, a lot goes into it to make it look natural. Some people might say she looks like a real baby that's really dead. She's not meant to be that way. She's meant to be pretty. She's meant to be, you know, uh, the, you know, honored by someone who really likes a little gothic baby, a little gothic baby, or, you know, who's just a little bit different like me. This is perfect for you, you know, not for everybody. But anyway, what I was trying to get at is that I do these little dots a lot in a lot of my work when I'm able to work freely, I'll say. If I'm not, if it's a custom and I can't really work so freely, I won't do it and I'll just do my best to cover spots. But anytime you do a hand-painted item or like a, you know, well, it's handmade really, like hand-painted, I guess, whatever, you're going to find that either you have a dot somewhere from the vinyl, whether the, the paint's not sticking or whether there's a little mark or whatever. And normally, you know, you could just, okay, put some varnish or whatever you got to do and figure it out. As an artist, you figure it out. But me, I sort of like through the years have decided that I would rather put a dot and put a birthmark or a beauty mark. So for instance, like this one here on her foot. That one could have just been a random, hey, I want to put one there. That could have also been a place in the vinyl where there was like a dot that wasn't right and I didn't want it to show because it didn't look aesthetically, uh, you know, with you know, the, the baby, it didn't go with her. Obviously, the dot wasn't meant to be there. It was just a vinyl flaw. So I put a birth a beauty mark there. So in, in doing so, I found that with, you know, when I'm able to do the beauty marks or I'm able to do certain things, that gives me a little bit of freedom to turn a potential boo-boo or a potential, you know, kit flaw or anything else and turn it into something that's beautiful and honestly I think we all need a little bit of that right now I'm not saying everybody needs to go out and buy a ghost baby but it's just the idea that instead of say if she had a mark right here in her vinyl instead of saying well she's worthless no she's not she's beautiful isn't that the same with all of us we're all, none of us are perfect. I mean, I think in the end, we are each individual and that, that's what, that's what brings out our beauty. And that's the same thing with her, you know. No, she doesn't look like any other Darren I've painted. And I've never painted an alternative before. And now I've already got Sculpey Clay and I'm trying to think about how I can do ears and fangs and stuff. She does have some kind of interesting painted hair. It's uh, she's got a heart instead of a swirl. And again, she's got lots of little beauty marks. Let me see if I can get the light to go in there. And there's inside her mouth, the best I can get it anyway. Yeah, she is sweet. And, you know, like I said, this is a lighting in my room, so it's not the greatest. It's not showing her as cute as she really is, I don't think. Because <laughs> I really think she's cute. But anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video. Now that I've made it in a long video, I might as well tell you the price. Um, so the price for her is going to be three fifty dollars shipped for a short time only. If she does not sell at three fifty ship, then she'll go back to my regular price, uh, like for the rest of my dolls, which a sleeping newborn sized doll, it's four hundred. So you're getting fifty dollars off. There's nothing. I mean, yes, she's an alternative, but that doesn't devalue her. I used the same uh, amazing quality, you know, paints and methods and supplies as I would with any other doll. So for somebody, she is the perfect baby. She is the perfect little gothic baby. Ghost baby or vampire baby, whatever you want to call her. She's down. She's like, let's be friends. Let's hang out. Let's scare people. 
you know, let's make cool costumes out of things and have fun and do photo shoots or whatever, you know. But yeah, that's her. And, uh, um, oh yes, got sidetracked, sorry. So she is, for adoption, her price is three fifty shipped and she will come with a box opening. So like what you see her wearing, this Muslim blanket, um, I have pictures on my page, those outfits that she has on in those pictures. And then I've got like a couple other things that are like, I haven't shown that are for her. Um, that will come with her. So she'll come with a box opening, magnetic pacifier. Um, let me see if I can reach real quick. So she has two magnets in her head. So one is on this side. Oh, there's another one. It's purple. I don't think the magnets go the same way. Oh, they do. So there's a there's a magnet on both sides, and they're they're in the same place. So if you wanted to do little horns, you can make little horns and put on there, or if you want to do the bows, or if you want to do little pigtails and make pigtails, the magnets are inside the head already. They're ready to go. Or you can just use the bow. And then also there is a magnet for a pacifier in the mouth, which the magnet's not going the right way for that, but um, I do have a I do have a pacifier for her. Let's see. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so and then um yeah. She'll come with if if it's a boy, she'll come with a hat. Um if it's a girl, she'll come with hair bows, mittens, outfit, other outfits. She'll be have a nice box opening. This spooky little box opening. <laughs> but that's her. That's my, um, oh, where'd you go? That is my ghost baby that is for sale. Um, and again, 350 shipped in the U S let me rephrase that in the U S if you are outside of the USA and you would like to adopt this baby, I am fine with that, but it will be in the U.S. shipping free. If you are outside of the U.S., then you would be responsible for shipping. So she is $350 with box opening, COA, and all the other things that I mentioned. Making this video way longer than anybody wanted. Everybody just really wants to see the baby and know how much. <laughs> so, yeah, available. Looking for mommy. Are you her mommy? Are you her mommy? You want to be her mommy? You do. <laughs> so if you want to be her mom, she wants to be your little ghost baby. So PM me. Or you can find me on Facebook. Um, I'll just say that really quick. I am moon mama's nursery and it's moon and then m-a-m-m-a-s nursery on facebook you want to find me that way or if you want to find me on my personal page it's just my first and last name per here on youtube and it's also the same for instagram so i'm easy to find that's kind of scary <laughs> a little bit more scary than the baby but yes <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching and um, have a great day, everybody. Seriously, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. <laughs>